four years, Diana Duran, New Mexico Secretary of State, was used to spending time at government facilities. But not this one. Ours was the only camera to capture video of Duran walking into the Santa Fe County Jail. Up until recently, she was one of the most powerful politicians in the state of New Mexico. She got out of a police car and through the door. Now inmate 363-427. Duran will spend the next 30 days here after pleading guilty to using campaign money to cover gambling debts. Because Duran is a high-profile inmate, we wanted to know if she would be in general population with other inmates or if the 60-year-old would be in segregation. A spokesperson for Santa Fe County tells us for safety reasons, they won't say exactly where she'll be. But sources say it wouldn't be unusual for her to stay in the medical unit of the jail, away from general population, not only for her own safety, but because the jail is legally responsible to make sure she's safe. And she's not the first high-profile inmate to serve time here and be segregated from other inmates. In 2011, Santa Fe County Sheriff Greg Solano spent more than a month behind bars after he was caught illegally selling department equipment on sites like eBay. Like Duran, prosecutors said he too had issues with gambling. He worked to pay the money back, and that's something Duran will have to do as well. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin. Now, after Duran turned herself in this morning, her attorney sent us this note. The statement read in part, quote, Ms. Duran quickly accepted responsibility, will be paying full restitution, and has profusely apologized. We ask for privacy for Ms. Duran and her family as this chapter is closed. Well, it's a